the blood circulation. In order to survive and function properly, every organ in the body needs a continuous supply of oxygen and nutrient-rich blood. The circulatory system is the means by which the body transports nutrients absorbed from the gut and oxygen absorbed from the lungs to the tissues. The circulation also removes the waste products from the tissues. Carbon dioxide is returned to the lungs to be breathed out. Other waste products are taken to the liver and kidneys where they are filtered away. The circulatory system is a closed network of blood vessels which in conjunction with the heart allows blood to flow throughout the body. The heart is the pump of the system, moving blood continuously around the body. Blood is the means by which the body delivers oxygen and nutrients to the tissues and carries away the unwanted waste products. The heart is effectively two pumps working in series. In the major or systemic circulation, oxygenated and nutrient-rich blood is pumped from the left ventricle into the aorta, which is the largest artery in the body. From the aorta arise all the major branches carrying blood via arteries, arterioles, smaller arteries, and capillaries, microscopic blood vessels, to the tissues. The arteries are the passageways through which fresh blood is delivered. Waste products from the tissues are taken back to the heart via thinner walled blood vessels called veins. Laid end to end, all these vessels would stretch for about 60,000 miles, enough to encircle the earth more than twice. In the minor or pulmonary circulation, blood flows from the right atrium to the right ventricle and is then pumped through the vessels of the lungs and drains back to the left atrium for the cycle to continue. Within the lungs, oxygen is added to the blood and carbon dioxide is removed.